Today, I'm gonna be doing an epic closet makeover in 24 hours. My closet looks really sad and really ugly, and hopefully I'm gonna transform it into something that Marie Kondo would approve of. Today, this video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. I've recently been obsessed with wearing glasses a lot more. My eye doctor's been telling me to do that for years, and I shopped till I dropped on GlassesUSA.com's website to find some new pairs of glasses. I also ordered this amazing glasses organizer for my closet, and I can't wait to do display them in it. So the reason why I wanted to partner with GlassesUSA.com is because at VidCon this year, I spent well over an hour trying on a ton of their glasses. I was blown away because the frames I was trying on, you guys, I'm not kidding, would have cost me $1,000 at my eye doctor's office. Actually, I was looking at a pair of glasses at my eye doctor's office that were $1,200. And I was like, why don't people know that this is available to them, that you can buy a pair of frames and lenses for $30 that not only serve a function in your life, but also look really, really cute. I mean, they have designer brands, they have Ray-Bans, but then they have a wide selection of really affordable pairs of glasses. They also have a line with Hilary Duff that she co-designed that really stole my heart. These glasses are my absolute favorite. Aren't these so cute? I literally love them so much. And if you're kind of on the fence about whether you should order your glasses online, because I know it's a very physical kind of purchase that you would make, they have this virtual tool on their website where you can upload a photo of yourself and try on any pair of eyeglasses or sunglasses that you can find and you can actually see how it will fit on your face. They also have a tool where you can take a photo and submit a photo of a pair of glasses that you saw somewhere that you liked and their technology will allow them to find a pair of glasses that are comparable to that pair of glasses. We're living in the future. Click in the link in the description below, shop around. I'm drinking the Kool-Aid because not only do I think it's an incredible opportunity for people who can't afford very expensive things, but I can attest to the quality of the frames. I love them. Check the link, shop around. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get this closet makeover going. Here is my closet. It is quite literally a dark, scary hole of questionable fashion, piles of crap that no one knows what it is and why it's in my closet. I have a shoe rack. I barely put shoes on it. I also have this really pretty jewelry cabinet that I used in my old apartment. But here, I don't really think it serves a big function for me because I really need like kind of like a full body mirror. I probably just need to throw out a bunch of jewelry. I don't even wear that much jewelry. I need to change out the light fixture. It looks like a public restroom light. I need to color coordinate my closet. I need to get rid of a bunch of clothes that are no longer serving me. And by serving, I mean no longer fit. I need to find places, find homes for a ton of clothes and accessories and belts and purses that really are literally just piled up on the floor that I crawl over every day. I have to pick out my outfit from standing over here and then go in with the strategy because otherwise I'm gonna definitely step on something. I have punctured a hole in my foot from a pair of earrings that I stepped on in my closet. This is really more for safety than aesthetic. Matt and I bought this house this year. It didn't come with shelves. It didn't come with curtain rods, closet rods. We had to pay someone a lot of money to come in and install it. And now that I look at it and have lived in it, I'm like, crap, why don't I just buy those really cool organizational units from like the container store? It probably would have cost me about the same and it would have looked way more stylish. So one of my big projects is to make my closet look as though it has one of those built-in organizers, but on a budget. So I went ahead and I ordered a bunch of shelves I'm gonna use to make it look more chic in there. My main goal is to make my closet look like a boutique. I wanna feel like I'm shopping in my own closet. I'm an adult now. This is unacceptable behavior. Time is running out on the watch that I don't have. It's time to take everything out of this closet. I'm already having separation anxiety from all the things that I don't wanna throw away. I have way too much stuff. Does everybody else feel like that? Like you have way more stuff than you need? You have a problem when you can't actually lift your own clothes. They all look the same, they're all the same color, and I only wear one of them. <gasps> So much anxiety is starting to happen right now. I feel like when you start a project, you have high hopes, and then the moment you start it, you're like, crap, why did I decide to do this today? Oh man, it looks so bad in here. Matt hasn't seen it yet. So as of this moment, we're still married. Now that I've taken everything out, cleaned the closet pretty well, got all the dust and germs out of there. By the way, the closet gets really dusty. It's kind of gross. Did you know dust is mostly made up of skin particles? Here's Matt. Ah! What is this? It's my closet. I think for 30 minutes, your closet puked on our bedroom. <laughs> honey, it has to get worse before it gets better. That's what they always say. This is more than worse. But honey, the good news is- Belonging to the get better part. 
uh, 24 hours, technically. It took 30 minutes to do this. Matt, since you're here, maybe I'll go ahead and have you help me hang a light fixture. There's a step stool downstairs. So it seems as though I might have ordered a European light and Matt's trying to figure out if we can actually wire it to our electrical stuff. In the meantime, I'm going to be figuring out how I'm going to paint my closet. So I saw a blog post a really long time ago that Mr. Kate made where she like did a bunch of black dots all over a wall and it was really, really cute. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do something like that, but I want some color without being overtly too colorful because the last thing you want to do is walk into like a big pile of color every morning. So I went to Home Depot and found a bunch of their sample colors that they already had printed, pre-mixed. And I really liked all of their pre-mixed colors. And each of these costs like four bucks. I decided I wanted to make a pattern using four different colors, but I couldn't decide on a pattern. I took to Instagram and it seemed as though you guys like this version the best, but I don't know. I'm still on the fence about how I'm going to paint this. So what I think I'm going to do is paint it with the light colors first. And then as I go, if I don't like it, then I'll add the gray. This is going to be a real challenge. Since I haven't decided on a pattern yet, I'm going to start painting in this back section of my closet in the event that I mess up. This will eventually be covered by clothes. I feel like it's a safe zone to start testing these paint colors. I like this, but I just want it wider. It doesn't look as bad now, right? I have painted the closet using my signature design and I've come to the conclusion that less is more. I originally showed you the piece of paper that had all the colors that I was gonna put on the wall. I decided that the dark gray was gonna go, but I was like, you know what, I'll keep the other three colors. After painting the pink and the gray, I think I just wanna stop there. Now the problem is I already painted all the colors down on the bottom. So now I need to repaint this white so that I could repaint it with pink and gray spots. This is actually going a lot faster than I anticipated and it's really cheap to do this by the way. If you have white walls or a colored wall in your house and you want to put dots on it, just go buy a couple of samples. That's pretty much all the paint you need. Like literally I'm halfway through each of those samples. So only like eight bucks to do this little arts and crafts project. My husband's very happy about hearing that. Approved. I didn't make up those cheap numbers this time. Benji, are you here to help? Yeah? I'm not ready for the screwdriver just yet. Four steps. <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> I have finished painting the closet. It took me a lot less time than I anticipated, which is fantastic. It looks fresh, it looks, looks boutique-y. I thought for a moment it looked like a baby's room, but I'm barely past a toddler. <laughs> My maturity is so I think it works. So I'm gonna let this dry. Matt was supposed to rig this light situation, but somehow he got wrapped up in toothbrush hunting, as one does. Adulting. The next step is assembling all of my storage pieces. I had to call in backup on this piece. I was having kind of a mental breakdown because I couldn't get it all to work right. So this piece I got from Urban Outfitters. I'm gonna use it to hang my scarves and other things on these racks and then use it as a mirror also inside of my closet. Uh, could you help me carry this up the stairs? Here I am. Helping Matt carry it up the stairs. So much help. I'm forging a path. Great work, honey. Oh, I really like this. This definitely feels boutique-y, right? This feels like you're in like a fancy dressing room. You pick out what you're gonna wear. You're gonna see if it looks cute or not. It is a little bit of a skinny mirror. This will serve as extra storage here for any bags and purses, scarves. I can actually get some hooks probably and hang other things here. So, so <laughs> far, I like it. Shelves up 
upside down the actual shelf piece. You see it has like this brown unpainted side. Mm -hmm. Should have flipped them over. Oh well. I ordered four of these little shelving units. Two of them I didn't put together all the way because on this unit and this unit, I'm gonna put shoes underneath. So I need it to be high enough. A second shelf would make it so I couldn't put shoes under it. But I really wanted to make sure I gave myself this little bit of extra space above my shoes to store other things. I ordered four of them, only assembled two of them all the way. Not exactly perfect, but it's really close. It was really affordable also. This would have cost me a lot of money to do a build-in. So I feel like it was a super affordable hack. I'm gonna use these shelves for sweaters and bulky items that take up a lot of room in my dresser. And then I'm gonna use this space for my jewelry. This is where my glasses, USA.com glasses are gonna be displayed. But I felt like this was a better station to get my jewelry on check it with my outfit versus just that clunky jewelry box mirror thing that I had. I went online and ordered a bunch of gold hooks. I guess I should have gotten silver now that I think about it. Okay, Sarah. I'm just going to layer on this trim right here. It already has a bunch of holes in it from when the guys stapled them into the wall. I felt like I can make this look better by adding some of these hooks to it, really giving it more of a purpose it really isn't pretty to look at. Also what I love about this jewelry nook is it gives me an opportunity to use some containers that I have that are really special to me. This one and this one belong to my grandmother and I don't really have a lot of things from my grandma. So I really love that I get to actually like use them and see them every day. I also have this little plate that Matt bought me. Matt and I were dating and so I saw this and I was like, oh, I love this little Amore plate. And then he surprised me with it. Amore. What did I say? And then I went to Goodwill the other day and they had a dollar sale. And so I bought this for a dollar. It's from J. Crew, actually. It's a really nice quality plate. And I'll use it to store like rings and earrings and things like that. So I love that my little shelf is gonna have so much meaning now. I think I've pretty much purged all of my jewelry. I'm not 100% in love with how it looks aesthetically yet. So tomorrow I'm going to pick up where I left off, which is going through all of my clothes, sorting them, color coordinating them, and I still need a rug, and Matt still hasn't hung my light. Made some progress. Made no progress. So tomorrow I'm gonna work on all of that. So until then, Mama's hungry, starting to get hangry. We gotta eat some Thai food, and I gotta get some rest because it's been a long day. It's gonna be an even longer day tomorrow. It is day two of the closet makeover. Still in the 24 hour window, by the way. Today I'm struggling. Last night when we left, I was gonna kinda call it quits, but I actually ended up going through a ton of my clothes and kind of sorting out all of my spring summer wardrobe and put it in a pile to be kind of shred grabbed until next year, which makes today a little bit easier on me schedule wise. So all I really need to do now is color coordinate all of the clothes that I kept. And the other thing that I really wanted to do today was hang the light and put a rug in the closet. So I went to Ross, picked up a rug that aesthetically looked exactly like what I wanted, but I didn't measure ahead of time, which is like one of the biggest rules of redecorating, and it's too big. It looked really cute with the pink and gray, and it's really soft, but alas, it is too big. I'm trying to decide if I'm just gonna end up going rugless in here, but I'm gonna put the final touches on this closet, and I can't wait, it looks so so cute in here, you guys. We're not really sure if this is gonna work. I might not get my cue light fixture. But Matt is putting in the effort now. It was just a little daunting at first. We'll get it done. We'll get it just it may done. not be safe. It won't be? <laughs> You're laughing. All the fixtures I've ever hooked up always have like a little copper screw. We don't have that. Wish us luck. Okay, we have hooked up the light just about to find out. Oh man, I don't know if this is gonna fit. I'm gonna just turn the power back on. Man, it doesn't work. Hold on. No, it's not working. Ah! It works! It works! Baby, it works! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, it's the little things, you know? There was one last idea that I had before I show you the final reveal. I have a lot of hats. I'm a hat person. Mine and Matt's first arguments. A couple was about a hat. It's a long story. Is that video on my channel? If it is, I'll link it here. I think we have that video up about our first fight. Hats take up a little room and you can't really like stuff them in a drawer. So I realized that there was a little piece of wall up here that really isn't seen by anyone. And I was like, you know what would be perfect for? Putting my hats displayed kind of hidden up here. So that your husband doesn't see them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to nail some nails in here and use this area as an area for me to hang my hat at the end of the day. Because you wear so many. As a YouTuber, you wear many hats. And as Aaron Robinson, you wear many hats. <laughs> Can I, could you bring that to me? Come here. Benji. Come here. <laughs> Come on. That's good. Oh, oh. <laughs> psych. <laughs> so my 24 hour closet makeover is complete. It turned out so much better than I thought it would. I actually feel like I need to do this for a living, just making over people's closets. So I feel like you've waited long enough. Here is the before and the after of my closet makeover. Let me know in the comments, is there something else that you would like to see me redo? I did redo my backyard. I did a whole renovation video. If you want to see it, I'll link it to it on the screen. Also, if you're here, you might as well subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much again to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video. Their selection of glasses is so incredible. And if you want to look cute and have function in your life, and you also want to stay on budget or even go under budget, make sure to check the link in my description. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, and um, and I'll see you back here next week. Bye.